the fuck are the keys? This is better. Ah, it's good to be back. It's good to be filming. We're in Arizona. I know, the plot twist that you didn't quite see coming. We're also in the cutest Airbnb, which I will also show you. I'll show you in, in a few, like you'll see it in this video, um, but I wanna get like the daytime and you'll see why. Right now we're just going out to dinner. We happen to have family nearby. Oh, the, what am I doing here? My bass clarinet ensemble is playing at the Low Clarinet Festival. Yes, it's a thing. Yes, it's happening this weekend. Yes, it's the first time it's ever happened where all of the low clarinets are in the same spot at once. I'm thrilled to be here out of Boston. It, it is warmer here, but it's not like hot and toasty desert. It's like just nice. It's just, it doesn't hurt my body to be outside. And I'm so exhausted. <laughs> We arrived on the night of the full moon and promptly had dinner with family in Scottsdale at a place called FNB. Waking up the next morning was so dreamy. Jet lag was on our side for once, so we saw a beautiful sunrise. And fun fact, Arizona doesn't observe daylight savings, so the sun is actually up later than the East Coast. After a quiet morning, I was off to do some clarinet things, but I took a break in order to have lunch with family and go to the Flag Rock and Mineral Show. And let me tell you, my witchy heart was on fire for some of these gems. I know, I know my gemstones. <laughs> If you're wondering what Low Clarinet Fest was like, it gets its own video, but here's a taste. <laughs> Should probably get up. <laughs> Clarinet fest is over. We just had dinner at Khan's aunt and uncle's house. It was delicious. We'll do more stuff tomorrow. I'll see you in the morning. Usually I make it a rule that when I'm on vacation, I don't like repeat eat at restaurants. But we are making an exception this morning because fame yesterday for brunch was so dang good. I think we're gonna go back, even if we just get like a coffee there. Um, I think it's pronounced fame, not sure. The restaurant name is, I'll put it here in case you live in Arizona, but so good. Actually, if you live in Arizona, you probably know about it because it's so good. Coach Val. Is it good? Have you been? I actually would have loved to see Coach Val on this trip because I know that she lives out here. But with the conference, I was just so much busier than I thought I would be. Like I thought I would just pop in here and there and like not even go yesterday. But I was there all weekend. It was it was like life changing. It was life changing. And I'm still not sure how I'm gonna like organize that video. So like stay tuned. And I mentioned this in my last video. I'm going down to one video a week, weekly videos. They'll come out probably Sunday, I think. Just so I can spend more time editing and like giving you guys a good quality vlog. I explain it all in my other in my other videos, but this is exciting. We're starting off 2023 strong, so. Mm, 
Yes. All right, I need coffee. I really need to get better at showing the Airbnb before I like destroy it. Just every decoration that she put in here hello, is here with intention and there's meaning and like, ah, uh, look at that decoration. Yeah, just, um, she's also a mosaic artist. So like she made this. It's the goddess Mott, and we're staying in the house of Mott. And the bathroom is so clean, it's so cute. Like, I, I am in love with these tiles, just like, oh, so nice. And like, the mirror is interesting, the lights are interesting, like everything is just so clean and beautiful and just cute, just all around. All around cute, like look at this outside. Mm. There is a TV here, we haven't used it. And Colin actually hung up some of his stuff, but there's a little doggy that lives out there named Luna. She's so cute, she's like a little Rottweiler puppy. Um, these chairs I'm in love with, with this little island, it's just, it's small, but it's like perfect and exactly what we needed. The more I found out about the woman who owns this Airbnb, the more I was impressed. She is an artist, a storyteller, a musician who, by the way, played with Jimi Hendrix, the owner of a nonprofit, was featured recently on NPR. Like, amazing woman. We even met her brother the night that we got there, and he's a producer and worked with New Kids on the Block. Like, so much talent. Even though the conference was over on Sunday, we stayed until Tuesday morning because there were two major things I wanted to do. See the famous Musical Instruments Museum and go for a hike. The Musical Instruments Museum was amazing. I'm used to the one over here in Boston at the Museum of Fine Arts, which is mostly Baroque instruments and honestly kind of stuffy. But here, here even Colin found some cool stuff. We saw Prince's piano and black power bass. An ornate, hundreds years old piano that the security guard who actually took our tickets played Chopin on in a little video that they showed. Jimi Hendrix's Black Widow guitar. And we even got a demonstration of the orchestrion. <laughs> Then there was Buddy Rich's drum set, Santana, and a whole exhibit about Woodstock. Upstairs, the instruments are arranged by country, so we hit up our home country first. We saw Chick Corea, Elvis, and Leonard Bernstein's baton, which is a big deal. We saw whatever this is, but hey, it's from Worcester, so you know. We stopped by the conservation lab before moving on to learn about Alice Cooper.
heart. Stevi. And this drum set, which was played by Primus, that Colin actually saw perform live in 1993. And if that wasn't cool enough, we saw Benny Goodman and Artie Shaw's clarinets, which was a huge deal for me. And it turns out, me and Benny play on the same kind of clarinet. Then we started to branch off from the United States as we learned about klezmer music. We saw the Swiss Alphorns. This gorgeous Italian harpsichord. Colorful Haitian instruments. Steel drums from Trinidad and Tobago in the Caribbean. And if you remember my vlogs from Mexico, you'll know how important this one is for me. I could have spent days in there, but we didn't even get to half of the museum. But we wanted to get our legs moving outside and see some nature. And let me tell you, we got what we came for. were laying flat oh and were interwoven with quartz deposits yeah and then when these mountains happened everything pushed up like this <sighs> so every now and again you'll catch that vein of white that was there yeah and this is all the quartz that washed out in that particular pocket of settled foot How do you like Arizona so far? <laughs> Hiking was an absolutely amazing experience. It was like at every turn there was something new and wonderful to see. Coming from Massachusetts, the terrain is so different from what I'm used to and I was in absolute awe at the majesty of the mountains,
the wide open areas. And the colors of the sunset. never captures the sunset. I'm sure it's beautiful what you're seeing, but it's not as beautiful as what I'm seeing. Oh my God, it's like neon pink. Mm. You are so cute. You are so cute. Yes. Ha, ha, ha.